So in the uh, recent review of the Fluke 17B, one of the viewers is asking for a little more information on the uh, thermal sensor and the capabilities of it. So uh, this very short video is just going to uh, review what the manual says and uh, just look at this uh, sensor known as a K-type thermocouple. So uh, the end of the uh, thermocouple uh, here is actually where the uh, temperature sensing is done. Um, this is what's known as a type K thermocouple. I'll put the word up here in the video. If you're not familiar with it, there's a really excellent article in the Wikipedia. Um, the real key with a thermocouple is it's very, very small math. You can see I have a little pencil lead here. And basically, uh, that's pretty important because if you try to measure rapid temperature changes, you don't want to have to be sucking energy in and out of your actual sensor. Um, this looks really small, but actually, if you uh, pop onto the uh, internet, you can actually purchase type K thermocouple wires even thinner than this for uh, really precise instrumentation. However, uh, Fluke's picked uh, a really classic and actually very appropriate for most applications, a wire gauge. So here we have the meter just hooked up with the thermocouple plugged in. It's, um, as you can see, it's updating relatively rapidly and uh, this is actually just because there's some air currents uh, uh, in my uh, workshop and it's actually causing the temperature to change by a few tenths of a degree. You can sort of show that you can sort of cover the sensor up and prevent any airflow around. And if we just wait for a second here, you'll see it actually stabilizes and uh, stays at a steady state. Kind of gives you a sense of just how uh, precise and how uh, um, sensitive these things are to change. The other way to really look at it, you can put your just put your fingers on it, and of course, a warm body is warmer than the room here, and, and it rapidly changes. So. Um, there's uh, sort of one factor here, of course, the low mass of the type T, uh, K thermocouple. Uh, the other factor, of course, is the meter here, and we're going to have to take a look at the manual for the specs on how often it actually does a reading and how often it updates this display. So here we have right in the actual user's manual, it obviously applies to the 15B, they're a part of a family. Uh, it talks about, uh, basically updates this display uh, three times a second. Uh, uh, in terms of the actual uh, sensitivity of the uh, K-type thermocouple. Uh, it works all the way from minus 55 degrees centigrade to uh, up to 400 degrees. If you go about 400, the uh, metal actually uh, gets affected and uh, the probe becomes uh, actually permanently damaged. So, uh, and the reason they have three ratings here is that um, it's a 0.1 degree uh, resolution, but then the accuracy, uh, the actually is 2% from 50 degrees centigrade to 400, plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade from 0 to 50, which is probably where most people will be uh, kind of expecting something to operate at. And then at the very cold temperatures, uh, minus 55 to 0, 9% um, accuracy, plus or minus 2 degrees. So I hope that uh, helps answer the question the, uh, the viewer raised about the thermal performance of the uh, Fluke meter.